9. Whitney Buha Whitney Buha is a Chicago-based lifestyle blogger whose typical beauty routine took an extremely disturbing turn last year when she went in for her regularly scheduled Botox injections. The person who administered the protein injected it into the wrong places, causing Whitney's left eye to sag and her right eye to be wide open. She posted a vlog revealing the eye-popping results, no pun intended and explained that she felt embarrassed to go on camera, but felt compelled to open up about what had happened. After the appointment, the young woman noticed that her left eyebrow was lower than her right eyebrow. At the urging of her injector, she returned to the clinic and received four more units to her left eyebrow in hopes of evening them out. But the opposite happened, and Whitney's left eye began to droop even more. A specialist explained that her right eye was compensating for her impaired vision by opening extra wide. She tried numerous remedies, but the plain and simple truth is that Whitney had to wait until the Botox started to wear off. The good news is that the damage was only temporary, and it didn't completely ruin the woman's view of Botox. In fact, she told BuzzFeed that she still stands by it when it's done right. 8. Rachel Napier 29-year-old Rachel Napier was expecting a typical girls' night when she attended a Botox party at a friend's house in Leicester, England in 2018. After injecting the young woman with Botox, the attending beautician noticed a lump on Rachel's lip. It was from an injury she had suffered when she was a teenager, and it was a major source of insecurity. So when the beautician recommended lip filler, Rachel readily agreed. What she didn't realize is that the injector was an unlicensed ex-con, and they accidentally injected the filler into a vein or artery. When Rachel awoke later that night, she couldn't feel her lips. They had swollen so big that her top lip was touching her nose. She went to the emergency room where she was told that the country's healthcare system didn't cover the treatment that she needed. The disfigured woman had to shell out money to see a private doctor who dissolved the filler. Within three days of receiving treatment, Rachel's lips were thankfully back to their normal size. But the close call inspired her to campaign for strengthening laws that regulate dermal filler in the UK. 7. Victoria Lee Victoria Lee had been getting Botox injections for the better part of a decade when she decided to schedule an appointment with a provider she had never seen before in 2020. The makeup artist from Essex, England was alarmed when the procedure hurt in a way it never had during her previous injections. Less than a week later, Victoria noticed some lumps forming on her face. Soon, they turned into huge, red, pus-filled boils. Embarrassed about how she looked, she stopped leaving the house almost entirely, even shutting out her family and friends. Victoria told the son that she was also in constant pain. Whenever she patted her head dry after a shower, the boils would start to bleed. She also found blood on her pillow in the mornings. After her son asked her to stop taking him to school, she only left home for medical appointments. Last year, Victoria participated in the BBC documentary Under the Skin, The Botched Beauty Business, which is about the largely unregulated industry for non-surgical cosmetic procedures. The special revealed that she's one of at least eight people who received botched injections from the same provider and has yet to figure out what's causing the lesions. 6. Tamika Rawson Australian TikToker Tamika Rawson is just one of many beauty influencers who have openly expressed their enthusiasm for Botox, which has become one of the industry's most sought-after procedures. But getting the injections comes with risks, and earlier this year, Rawson was unlucky enough to join the minority of patients who experience a botched Botox job. After receiving the protein in her lower face, Tamika was left looking like she had a golf ball stuffed into each side of her jaw. She took to social media with the undesired results, 
prompting one commentator to point out that she resembled a hamster storing food in its mouth. Rawson handled the disappointing experience surprisingly well, pointing out that Botox thankfully only lasts three months and that she expected the effects to wear off. She told her followers that she planned to get Botox again in the future. Several users mentioned having similar experiences and suggested that the problem could be fixed with even more Botox. Expert Rupesh Shah from the London Lip Clinic told The Sun that the mishap may have been caused by the provider injecting in the wrong place or diluting the product too much and agreed that more Botox to relax the surrounding muscles in Tamika's face might help. 5. Nakita Kimberly Just days after getting Botox and lip filler injections last year to even out her smile, a 21-year-old Dutch TikToker named Nakita Kimberly was left with a visibly crooked smile. She told her followers that she got the injections to calm down a muscle that she said was working a bit too hard, causing a dent in her chin. With her mouth closed, Kimberly looked no different than before, but it was a different story whenever she talked or smiled. She claimed that the Botox had traveled to the wrong side of her face, causing her mouth to droop and giving her a lisp. The young woman also developed a new habit of biting her tongue when she talked. Unlike some other influencers who continued to use Botox after the ill effects of a botched treatment wore off, Kimberly's ordeal left her feeling dead set against the procedure. In a TikTok video explaining what had happened, she said she was all for lip fillers, but strongly cautioned her followers against Botox. Commenters reassured Kimberly that her face would return to normal when the toxin wore off, and they blamed the provider more than the Botox itself, suggesting that the injections had been administered in the wrong place. Good news came several weeks later when the young woman posted an update reporting that her condition was improving and that she was starting to feel happier with her appearance. 4. Carol Bryan Florida resident Carol Bryan began getting Botox injections to minimize some fine lines in her face when she was in her 30s. At age 47, she visited a clinic she'd never been to before. The staff talked her into trying dermal fillers, which add volume to a person's face in areas that are thinning due to age. After the procedure, Carol's forehead began swelling every few days before shrinking back to its normal size. A few months later, her forehead swelled, and this time it didn't stop growing. She returned to the clinic where dissolving agents were injected to bring the swelling down. During the visit, Carol learned that silicone had somehow mistakenly ended up in the syringe that was used to administer her botched filler. Silicone is never used for facial procedures due to its dangerous and disfiguring effects. The clinic promised to fix Carol's face free of charge with regular appointments. Not knowing what else to do, she obliged. But her face only became more disfigured as the dissolving agent ate away at her muscle and tissue. The woman's skin began to sag and her forehead filled with pus. Unable to cope with the reflection in the mirror, she quit her job, became a shut-in, stopped letting friends and family come over to visit, and even thought about taking her life. Carol spent years living as a recluse until her daughter, Sophia, couldn't take seeing her mom in such a miserable state and reached out to teaching hospitals in a desperate plea for help. Renowned plastic surgeon Brian Boyd took her case and managed to repair a lot of the damage. It would be an understatement to say that Carol's road to recovery has been long and both physically and emotionally challenging. She's now blind in one eye and will probably never look like she did before the botched procedure. But she's using her story to help others and works as the director of a nonprofit called Face to Face Healing, which is dedicated to raising awareness about disfigurements. 3. Montana Morris Several years ago, Florida-based TikToker Montana Morris noticed that she was experiencing symptoms of an uncomfortable jaw condition called TMJ. Her jaw began locking regularly and for days or even weeks at a time, 
After suffering for two years, the 24-year-old decided to get some Botox injections in her jaw, which is a common procedure for alleviating TMJ symptoms. The clinic Morris went to was running a special on Dysport, which is a similar neurotoxin to Botox, but it's not exactly the same, and the dosage is measured in different units. Within four days of receiving the injections, the young woman's lower facial muscles more or less began to freeze. Her smile shrank and her dimples disappeared. Morris told her followers that the treatment did succeed in unlocking her jaw, but that her pain had worsened. During a follow-up appointment, a staff member told her that the provider she saw had miscalculated the dose and injected the disport in the wrong place. At first, the business reportedly tried to shrug off the situation, telling Morris that this kind of thing happens sometimes and that most people don't mind it. But with some persistence, she managed to get a full refund. And while it was less than pleasant to wait for the treatment to wear off, the undesired effects were thankfully temporary. 2. Marcel King Marcel King of Dorset, England found herself hospitalized and close to death in 2013 after receiving Botox injections from a con man posing as a licensed medical provider. She found the bogus doctor, Ozan Milan, on Facebook and made an appointment without looking too deeply into his credentials. In a later interview on the BBC series Fake Britain, King said that Milan's ad looked legitimate. She also explained that she had never gotten Botox before and admittedly knew very little about it, but expected it to be a straightforward procedure that would knock a few years off. When King arrived at the London address Milan had given her, she realized it was a private home. She described entering his kitchen and seeing an array of large needles on the table, where she sat down and received the injections. Milan reportedly reassured King that he would do the injections quickly and that she wouldn't feel anything. But the shots were excruciating, and he responded by saying, no pain, no gain. King said that she felt as if she had been burned with cigarettes. Even after experiencing such horrific pain, she went against her husband's advice and booked a second appointment with Milan. This time, her forehead burned so badly that she was rushed to the emergency room just minutes after the procedure. It took a large amount of steroids and antihistamines for her to narrowly avoid death. As it turned out, King had been injected with an unknown and extremely dangerous substance, and Milan was not qualified to perform cosmetic procedures. Her horrifying ordeal is one of two cases that led to Milan's conviction on charges of inflicting grievous bodily harm. There was a third victim, but the court was unable to prove that Milan had falsely claimed to be medically trained before giving her a round of harmful injections. 1. Shiva Ashkani Back in 2015, the owners of a Toronto tanning salon decided to start offering Botox and filler injections. During their search for a qualified provider, they interviewed a woman named Shiva Ashkani who presented them with a diploma qualifying her as a registered nurse. She claimed that she had 13 years of experience working as a nurse in Toronto and Beverly Hills. It looked like Ashkani was a perfect fit for the job, but it wasn't long before things began to go wrong. After receiving $700 worth of Botox and fillers, one patient was left with bleeding, pea-sized bumps on her face. She felt sick after getting the injections, experienced blackening around her eyes for several weeks, and developed a hole on her forehead. Another patient noticed discolored and raised skin around her eyes after paying $800 for injections from Ashkani. There was a third victim who found Ashkani through the Canadian advertising website Kijiji. She spent $850 on Botox, fillers, and a chemical peel. The peel left the patient in excruciating pain and feeling like her skin was burning. Her eyes were nearly swollen shut by the time she re-entered the waiting room. As it turned out, Ashkani was not a registered nurse and she certainly wasn't qualified to perform cosmetic treatments. She was charged with fraud and assault after her victims spent thousands of dollars fixing the facial disfigurements she had caused. 
Ashkani was found guilty in 2019 and was sentenced to two years in prison and three years of probation. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be left with sagging facial features after a botched Botox procedure or lose three fingers on your dominant hand? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.